Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Batman, some pretty iconic pieces of cinema with some pretty iconic color grades. But what does this have to do with you? I mean, you just shoot content for socials with an iPhone, right? Surely it wouldn't be possible to achieve these same cinematic colors like your favorite films, and especially not with a mobile friendly app. Well, guess again, because today we're diving into the world of color grading with Filmora, because who doesn't want their videos to go from this to this? Now, before we jump into the nitty gritty, let's quickly talk about why color grading matters. Think of it as putting the final polish on your masterpiece. It's what turns a good video into a jaw-dropping one, grabbing your audience's attention and keeping them hooked from start to finish. In film, a colorist's job is to achieve the desired visual, aesthetic, and emotional tone of the film through color grading. Warm colors like reds and oranges convey warmth and intensity, while cooler tones like blues and greens evoke calmness or sadness. Contrast levels can enhance drama or evoke nostalgia, and brightness adjustments affect the overall atmosphere. Specific techniques like color desaturation or color isolation can draw attention or amplify emotional impact as well. Additionally, cultural and psychological associations with colors influence their perceived meanings. Through skillful color grading, filmmakers craft cohesive visual aesthetics that deepen audience engagement and enhance storytelling. So I've recently teamed up with Filmora and let me tell you their creative LUTs are a game changer when it comes to color grading iPhone clips. It's like having a professional colorist in your pocket. Once you've got Filmora fired up, importing your iPhone footage is a breeze. Simply drag and drop your footage onto a timeline. Now, before we dive into the LUTs, let's get our basics right first. So with our clip selected, head up to this color tab and you'll see we're in the basic tab. First setting we wanna focus on is white balance. We can either auto adjust it by using our color picker tool and selecting something true white from our clip, or we can use the spectrum slider to do it manually. Next, we'll just quickly go through and manually adjust our light settings as needed. As is the nature of color grading, it's all about finding what works best for your specific footage. Once we're happy with our base color correction, we can adjust some other settings if needed, like sharpness or vignetting, but for now, I'll leave those be. Now, quickly before we move on to those cinematic LUTs, let me tell you how you can win $2,000 from Filmora for free. So Filmora is hosting an exciting challenge called the Filmora AI Story Challenge, and here's how you can enter to win. Step one, click the link in the description to visit the challenge page. Step two, watch the video explainer and give it a thumbs up. Step three, click on the randomizer to get your story prompt. Step four, download Filmora and start creating your video using the prompt. Step five, upload your video to your social platforms with the hashtag Filmora AI Story. Just make sure you're following Wondershare Filmora on social media to be eligible. So what are you waiting for? Let your creativity shine with Wondershare Filmora's latest AI tools. All right, now for the fun part, choosing your LUTs. Filmora offers a fantastic selection inspired by iconic cinematic color grades. Whether you're aiming for that Game of Thrones vibe or channeling your inner Harry Potter, there's something for everyone. So head up to the LUT tab and just click add. We'll get a window showcasing all of Filmora's pre-built cinematic LUTs, and it's our job to choose our favorite. Next, once we've selected our LUT, we can adjust the strength slider to your liking. The slider basically just increases or decreases the intensity of the LUT. If there are more specific tweaks that we wanna make to specific colors within the scene, we can use these HSL curves and color wheels tab to fine tune our footage. But wait, there's more. One of my favorite features of Filmora is its AI powered protect skin tones tool. Say goodbye to those unnatural looking skin tones because Filmora's got your back ensuring your subjects always looking their best even after color grading. We've all seen those edits or made those edits where it looks like we just threw a random LUT on and all of a sudden our skin tones are looking completely off. Well, this AI feature is gonna make sure we never have to deal with that issue ever again. And there you have it, folks. If you're looking to get that cinematic look on your iPhone clips, then it may be worth your while to check out Wondershare Filmora as it offers a lot of control, especially for a mobile powered app. Now, obviously there's so much you can do with color grading that it's hard to break it all down in a five minute video, but it's definitely worth getting your hands on the software and seeing if it fits well into your workflow. But with that being said, if you learned something useful today, consider subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.